Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. Let's talk about Shaq saying the Blazers should trade Damian Lillard to a contender. So this is what Shaq had to say. The organization should do him a solid and trade him to a contender. They should use him to get some pieces because they're never going to win there if you don't get him any help. But if you send him to a contender, I would do that if I was management. And I agree, man. Like, Dame is a great player, a great person, in and out, great characteristic, stand-up guy, a solid dude. But at the end of the day, the Portland Trailblazers, they ain't winning anything. Not because, obviously, Dame is not a superstar and he's not super talented, but he doesn't have the necessary pieces to win a championship. So Dame sitting in Portland, you know, playing year after year, grinding it out. I respect it. Only if Portland could get him the, the help, the pieces he needs. But if they're unable to do that, then they should just trade him, you know, get back some pieces for him. They could get some first round picks, some pieces, and they could send Dame to a contender and let the man go play and try to chase getting a ring. I'm not saying he needs to be on a super team, but no, he could, he could at least go to a contender, a team that's already good and just need that one player to get him over the hump. And he could be the number one option or the number two and go win him a ring. I mean, they ain't been in Portland with CJ McCollum. They've been grinding it out for years. It was a great duo, a solid backcourt, but they never had the pieces needed to win. They got to the Western Conference Finals against the Warriors and got annihilated. They got destroyed. I remember that like it was yesterday. And the crazy thing about that entire situation was I thought the series was going to go to Game 7. I'm like, oh, Dame Dollar, CJ versus Steph and Clay. Everyone thought this was going to be a Game 7 series. Charles Barkley, everyone, we was all excited. And truth be told, Dame choked in that series. CJ McCollum played better than Dame in that series. CJ showed up and Dame didn't show up in that series. Dame choked and... To me, that was their ceiling, basically. That was their cap. Going to the Western Conference Finals, as far as that team, that was their ceiling. And they did that. So at least he could say, you know what? Me and CJ went to the Western Conference Finals, which is not an easy thing to do. And they accomplished that. But that's it, man. They ain't been down with the Trailblazers for a long time. And it's respectable. You got to respect it. He won a win in Portland. He's a loyal dude. Loyal to a fault. You don't find that characteristic in a lot of people. That's a great characteristic. A loyal person. You know, you know what? They're never going to turn their back on me. And you could tell, even if he wanted to go elsewhere, his DNA is so loyal that he refused to leave. The Portland organization, management and all, they need to do him the solid. I agree with Shaq. Do the man the solid and trade him to a team that he could contend for a championship. The way he's been loyal to that organization and the entire city, y'all owe it to him to do him that solid. Send the man off right. He's still in his early 30s, but he's only getting older. You don't want to wait till it's too late, and I can see what's going to happen already. Go back to Carmelo Anthony, New York Knicks. Melo wanted to stay in New York, wanted to be loyal to the team, well, was loyal to the team, wasted his best years, his prime years in New York playing with G-Leaguers. The man was playing with G-Leaguers. But not to get sidetracked, back to the main issue at hand. But what I'm saying is, Dame could suffer the same fate as Carmelo and Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett got a ring. Yes, he did, but he went to Boston a little too late. He should have went earlier. But he was trying to be loyal to the Timberwolves and the city to a fault. And when he got there, they did get a ring. Yes, he got a chip, so he got his own, but he could have had multiple rings, multiple chips if he had left earlier, but he was being loyal. Mellow case, Mellow stayed in New York, tried to be loyal. I want to win here, and they still shitted on him. And look at his career now. Great career, but you know they're going to say, oh, he never won a ring. You know the, you know the story and the narrative. Either Dame got to leave or the Portland organization got to do him the solid and just trade him and get pieces for him. It worked out for both parties, basically. They ain't been playing like a monster this year, averaging almost 30 points, 
balling out, had a 71-point game, incredible performance. So we know what Dame could do. This quality gameplay, a contender could use this. At the end of the day, we know what the results are. Portland ain't going nowhere. They're barely in the plane right now because he doesn't have the pieces around him. He don't have the team required to chase a championship, and that's just what it is. You know, it ain't his fault. And like I said, again, he's trying to be loyal, but you got to know when to go. And it's not turning your back on the city or the organization. It's just saying, yo, man, I'm 10 years in or whatever. And, you know, I'm getting older. I'm trying to win some chips. Like, this is for my legacy. So I agree with Shaq that Portland needs to just set the man free. Set Dame free because he's going to, the way he's built and his makeup, he's going to sit there, you know, trying to be loyal because he doesn't want to disappoint the city, the fans, himself. And that's just the type of duty he is. So they got to push him out the door. Portland organization need to push Dame out the door. It works out perfectly for both parties. Dame could go chase his, you know, the ring, try to get the ring, and Portland could start the rebuilding process. They already have a bunch of young prospects over there. That's good. A few young prospects over there. So they just got to get some picks, man, and, you know, build on that. Start rebuilding. What's the holdup, basically? I really hope after this season is over, you know, there's a blockbuster trade or, you know, a deal or something and Dame go somewhere else. Go somewhere, man, and go ball out. Even go to New York. That could work out. New York already have a solid team over there. Add Dame to that mix and maybe make one or two more moves. They could be contending in the East. For sure, they could be contending in the East. You know, but he got to get out of Portland, man. And I hate to say it, but it's just what it is. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. The window already closed. Once they got to the Western Conference Finals and the Warriors destroyed them, it was over. That was the window right there. And it closed ever since. And the team is obviously gutted. You know, CJ McCollum is gone. You know, they had Melo for a brief two-year stint. You know, obviously he's gone. The team is just not good enough, man. It's just They're just not good enough. And I definitely feel like the organization should have set Dame free. Our dame should set himself free and don't feel bad about it. It's okay. It's okay to want good for yourself. I mean, you've been loyal. You stayed down for a decade or more. All right. You did your job, man. It's time to go. I wouldn't blame him or I wouldn't say, oh, no. It's all good. Plus, look at Kevin Durant. He's creating super team after super team. How, how are you supposed to win, Dame, when, when Kevin Durant has super teams? Kyrie's in Dallas with the Mavericks and Luka. We don't know what's going to happen in the summer with that situation, but just to say, you have that. You have the Denver Nuggets, who's pretty good. John Moran team is really good. Look at the landscape. And this is just on the West only. We're not even talking about, we're not even talking about the East. Look at the landscape. So Dame chance of winning is like less than 1%. It's that bad. So I don't see the point of sitting there and trying to grind it out. And yes, I do want my superstar to grind, but grind with the hopes of you have a chance. There is no chance the Trailblazers is going to make any noise in the West. Not in the West. The West is too good. So what is this year, next year, the year after that, it's the same situation. Dame is going to always be a bottom feeder or a playing team at, at worst. That's just the situation. He needs to go to a contender. Follow the blueprint of others before you. KG, they traded KG, but he went to Boston. Melo stayed in New York too long, and look what happened to him. You got to learn from the others, man. Get up out of Portland. It's okay. The fans is going to love you forever. All the great memories you gave them. You've been loyal, been down in the community forever. They'll never hate you. Trust me. They appreciate them. They'll love them forever. But it's time to go. I know once Dame saw Giannis win the championship in Milwaukee, that gave him hope. And I get it. But guess what? There are differences. Giannis is much younger, was much younger, right? And Giannis had a better team around him. I'm not saying his team was like ridiculous, like a super team. No, but he had the pieces. You know, that's the key word. Giannis had the pieces needed to win a championship. Dame don't. That's the difference. 
and their play style is different. Giannis is 6'10", and he's unstoppable, basically. Dame and Giannis' game is just different when you look at it. They have different game. Dame is a shooter. Could shoot from half court. He's a shooter when he's hot. Giannis is always hot because his game is inside. When Giannis get a full head of steam, you can't stop him. And once again, Giannis had the pieces needed to win a championship. And he was much younger than Dame. So I know Dame is looking at Giannis like, I saw Giannis do it. I want to do that. But the situations are different, totally different. You could look at what Giannis did and it's motivation. I get it. But you also got to look at the dynamic and the situation and the makeup of the team and the pieces, all that. I respect it, but it's not the same thing. Giannis had what was needed to win a championship. He had the pieces around him and his game, the way he plays. So it's a different situation. So even though he motivated Dame and, you know, gave him that confidence, like, yeah, I could do that. Dame is older and the Trailblazers don't have the team around him. So it's a different situation. And by time he should wait for them to get the team around him, the man will be 35, 36 basically out of his prime. So he have a decision to make, I say this summer, or the organization have a decision to make. Should we, you know, get off Dame, set him free, get some picks for him, and do him the solid, which I think they should do him that solid. Do the man that solid. There's no point of him staying in Portland, putting up empty stats. Yeah, he's doing his thing, averaging 28, 29, balling, but is it resulting in wins and playoff success? No. I really hope Dame and Portland figure this out, man. Get this man a chip. Time wait for no man. So hopefully they could both come to some agreement. You know, Dame could go on his way, go find a team that best suits him or favors him to win something, and, and Portland could start the rebuilding process. But yeah, man, on that note, as always, I'll holla. As always. We just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.